Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Bangkok Chili Peppers Television. I am Oda and today I will show you some of the most beautiful and romantic castles in Germany and much more. This tour will start from Fusen, a well-preserved medieval city located in the south part of the Bavaria region, just around 4 km from the Schwangau village where two of the most beautiful castles in Germany are present, the Hohenschwangau and the Neuschwanstein. I will then move to the Costans Lake in the ancient city of Lindau, and after that, don't ask me why, I will go back passing Fussen again and reach the Zugspitze, the highest mountain in Germany. I will drive back to the Costans Lake to explore the city of Meshburg and then cross the lake to reach the Reichenau Island, an UNESCO World Heritage Site. The last destination of this episode will be the Burgo and Solern, an impressive castle visible from miles away. And now let's start! My tour starts in Fussen, that is the typical romantic medieval well-preserved German city. Fussen is located in the south part of the Bavaria region at one kilometer from the Austrian border. This city was founded by the Romans that needed a base for soldiers on the Via Claudia Augusta, a road connecting the North Italy with the city Augusta Vindelicum that now is called Augsburg. Fusen is surrounded by beautiful mountains and located on the side of the river Lech. The most important attraction of the city is probably the Hohe Schloss, that means High Castle, and is one of the most well-preserved late Gothic buildings in the area. Fusen is the place where I suggest you to stay if you want to explore two of the most beautiful castles in Germany, the Hohenschwangau and the Neuschwanstein. The Reichenstrasse is the main street of the city where several shops, restaurants and bars are located. In this area you can drink a coffee right in front of the Stadtbrunnen, the main fountain of the city. You will be surrounded by well-preserved ancient houses. You can just walk to reach the main attractions, hear the Holy Ghost Hospital Church, take your time to relax and explore the city. Now I will show you the Hohe Schloss, the icon of Füssen. The Hohe Schloss was the summer residence of the Prince Bishops Frederick of Augsburg. Today it's used as a tax office and museum of painting collections. It's definitely an example of well-preserved late Gothic building. You can visit the Hoesch Loss from the inside with a ticket that costs 4 euros. The paintings exhibition offers an excellent overview of art at the turn of the 15th and 16th centuries in the Algoi and Bavarian Swabia. You can visit everything in half an hour. Now let's move forward. Right close to the Hohe Schloss there is the San Mang Cathedral, where inside is located the Stadt Museum. The San Mang Cathedral is a Benedictine monastery that was built in the early 18th century. Inside there is an interesting museum. The entrance is behind the tower, just full of the indications. The ticket costs 6 euro, and the best things to see are located on the second floor. Here there is one of the finest collections in Europe of historical lutes and violins that recalls Fussen's importance regarding the manufacture of lutes in Europe. There is also a collection of old watches. The bibliotech room is something to not miss. The visit to the museum is over. Right after the Hohe Schloss there is the Stadtpark Baumgarten. The Stadtpark Baumgarten is very relaxing, you can get a lot of fresh air. Now I will walk a little bit to reach the Lech waterfall. In general the nature in the south part of Germany is very beautiful. Just after the Lech waterfall you will find this little street, that is the entrance for the Kalvarienberg. If you pass close to the steakhouse Fussen, you are on the right way. One of the best things to do in Fussen is to climb the Kalvarienberg. From the top you can enjoy the best view of Fussen and the surrounding areas. You can start your hike from several points, 
from the steakhouse fusion it takes around 25 minutes to reach the top and is probably the fastest way. When you reach the area with the yellow church, ensure to take that path. You have clear signs on the trees. I feel a very religious atmosphere over here. The Bavaria region is very Catholic and the Calvarian Berg can be considered some sort of way to the cross. During your hike you will pass 17 small chapels. Each of them marks a different stage of the Jesus Christ path of suffering. The hike is not demanding and there are signals everywhere to show you the right path. I reach at the top and the view here is something amazing. I would say that one day is enough to explore all the main attractions in Fusen, but this city is definitely the best spot to explore two of the most beautiful castles in Germany, the Hohenschwangau and the Neuschwanstein. Now it's time to go back to my hotel and take my car. I took the car and from Fusen with a ride of almost 4 kilometers I will reach the Schwangau village where are located the Owen Schwangau and the Neuschwanstein castles. There are currently four big parkings in Schwangau. The P4 is the closest to the castles and currently costs 8 euro for 6 hours plus 1 euro every additional hour until a max of 12 euro. You will find more information in the video description. Today it's raining like crazy. The visit to the castles is possible only via guided tour. You can buy the tickets in the ticket office or online with a service fee. You will find more information in the video description. From the P4 parking to the Oeschwangau castle there are around 25 minutes walk. If you want to visit the castle inside you have to buy the ticket. And when you buy the ticket there is also a stamp at the time when you have to enter. So make sure that you reach the castle gate on time. From the screen located in the castle gate I can see that my tour will start at 9.25. The Hohenschwangau was built by King Maximilian II of Bavaria, father of King Ludwig II, in 1833 from the remains of an early castle. This castle was the official summer and hunting residence of King Maximilian and his family. The Hohenschwangau suffered no damages during both world wars and offers to the visitors a beautiful view over the Lake Alpsee. I just finished my tour inside the Hohenschwangau castle. Unfortunately, I can show you nothing because it's not possible to take video inside and the castle guides are very strict. I suggest you to visit this castle inside because there are a lot of beautiful things, original paintings, very well preserved. Bad weather today. From the Hohenschwangau castle, I have to work around one hour to reach the Neuschwanstein castle. Check the time on your ticket for the guided tour and be on time in front of the castle gate. I strongly suggest you to do the tour inside the Neuschwanstein castle. Unfortunately, I could not film because it's strictly forbidden. Something to not miss is definitely the Marienbrücke, where you can have the best view of the Neuschwanstein castle. When Ludwig II inherited the throne from his father King Maximilian II in 1864, he decided to build one of the most pittoresque castles in the world. Ludwig was obsessed by the composer Richard Wagner and his operas inspired him in the castle design. The Neuschwanstein becomes Ludwig's personal refuge. The king utilized his family money to build the castle. It costed double the original estimate. He loved to spend money on art without breaks. Unfortunately, Ludwig was able to spend only 172 days in his beautiful castle. He died at age 41 in 1886 after being declared mentally unstable. Someone supposed that this was just a move from his family to prevent him to spend all their money. And yes, the Neuschwanstein is the Disneyland Sleeping Beauty Castle. The Marian Bridge was built by King Maximilian II as a birthday present for Marie, 
is consort and mother of Ludwig. This point offers probably the best view of the Neuschwanstein castle. Now I need to eat something. In Schwangau, the village where the castles are located, there should be definitely some very good restaurant. Let's find something. I'm driving to the restaurant Schloss Brauhaus in Schwangau, famous for its homemade beer selection and traditional Bavarian dishes like the Schweinachse, in English the pork knuckle. Let's start with half liter of homemade dark beer, that it's also very cheap, just 3.9 euro. Wow, amazing! And here we are with the traditional Bavarian Schweinachse, the pork knuckle in beer sauce and potato dumpling. Forget about the knife and fork, a real German eats the Schweinachse with the ends. I have to say that it's perfectly cooked, probably the best Schweinachse I had in my career. You have to eat everything, also the fat skin that is very tasty. At the end, only the bones need to stay on the plate. If you are in Germany and you want to try a dessert, I can definitely recommend you the Apple Strudel with ice cream. Mm. Delicious. I am in my car, it's time to go back home. I will just sleep, I am very tired. The quality of this restaurant was very high, strongly recommended. After 7 o'clock, Fusen becomes a ghost city, no one is on the street and it's even Friday night. In any case, I will try to find some place where to continue to drink something and see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. For me, it's time to leave Fussen and drive to Lindau over the Kostanz Lake, the Bodensee in German. I will say that uh, in Fussen you can spend two days, one to explore the main attractions of the city and another day to visit the Hoeschwangau and Neuschweinstein castles. So, let's go! Fusen to Lindau is a journey of one hour and a half, it's around 140 kilometers. I decided to leave my car in the P3 parking. From here I can easily walk and reach the Lindau island. Even if you can enter with your car inside the island, I suggest you to park outside. You have much more possibilities to find a place. Anyway, if you don't want to walk a little bit and you want to park directly inside the island, check the Z Park Platz. Especially during the winter, you can find a lot of parking space. I am in the Luitpold Park. This island looks very nice from this picture. Unfortunately, this park is closed. There is some construction work going on. Also here, a nice calisthenics park in front of the lake. Closed. Let's walk a little bit. The main street is the Maximilianstrasse, where are located several shops, restaurants, bars and also the Altes Rathaus, the old town hall. There is not too much to see, I have to say. The Monk Turm was built on the harbour in the 12th century as part of the medieval fortification of Lindau. From here it's possible to take a cruise over the Costans Lake. I have to say that the area around the Monk Turm is the most beautiful in my opinion. Lindau is an ancient Bavarian town located over the Kostanz Lake, Bodensee in German. This lake is the border between Germany, Switzerland and Austria. The city retains a medieval and baroque appearance. In the history it belonged to Austria, France and only in 1955 was returned from France to Germany. The lighthouse and the Bavarian Lion statue are an eye catcher for all the people visiting Lindau. They are located at the entrance of the harbour. Lindau can be a perfect spot if you want to take a cruise over the Costans Lake. The fog is something common in Lindau. The Bavarian Lion and the new lighthouse are almost disappearing. I would say that half day in Lindau is more than enough to explore all the main attractions of the city. During winter after 5 o'clock everything is shut down, so don't expect any nightlife. And let's move forward. I am back in my car and I decided to do a very strange thing. I will drive all the way back after Fussen from Lindau for almost 200 kilometers to reach the highest mountain in Germany, the Zugspitze. At 2,962 meters above the sea level, the Zugspitze in southern Bavaria is the highest mountain in Germany. It's possible to reach the top via cable car or train. 
the Austria-Germany border goes right over the mountain. I don't have too much time, so I decided to take the fastest way to reach the top of the mountain. I parked in the IPC, and here the cable car takes around 35 minutes. Oh my god, the cable car and train are closed since 31st of October due to COVID-19. I cannot believe that the cable car is closed, there should be a way to reach the top. I could hike, but uh, it will take around 8 hours. I understood that the only way to get on top is to go in Austria and then take a cable car, but this is something that I will not do, I will stay in Germany. At just a couple of minutes walk from the parking is located the IBC, a beautiful lake where it's possible to relax, hike and have a mountain bike ride. Today I am not enough lucky to reach the top of the Zug Spitz, that means that I have to come back here. But I will take a nice walk over the IBC. I suggest you to visit the Zug Spitz from Fusen because it's an easy day trip. For me, it's time to go back to Lindau and go forward with my journey. From Lindau, I'm driving to Merzburg, that is considered to be one of the most beautiful cities over the Constance Lake. Let's check it. I just arrived in Merzburg and uh, my first impression is uh, that uh, this city is quite calm and with an architecture well preserved. Merzburg means castle on the sea. In fact, this medieval town is famous for its two castles, the old and the new one. This city is located in the north part of the Constance Lake, just at 40 km from Lindau. The magic soul, together with the castle, are the icons of the city. The magic column is a sculpture from Peter Lang. From here you can enjoy a beautiful view of the Merzburg skyline. There are several cities around the Constance Lake, up to you to decide where you want to establish your base to explore the surroundings area. From my personal opinion, I like at Lindau. Bar and restaurants are closer to the COVID-19. It's quite desert. Now I am inside the old city and I'm sure that without corona restrictions this place should be very nice. I'm doing few steps to get on top of the grape plantations that are part of the city skyline. The Merzburg wine is quite famous within Germany. The Rosé Weisserbst is a specialty of the region. This place should be very beautiful during normal time with all restaurants open. I still have a few hours of sun so I will try to reach an island called Reichenau that is an UNESCO heritage site and is located at around one hour from Merzburg. From Merzburg I need to take a ferry to cross the Bodensee, reach the city of Constance and then drive to the Reichenau island. I just parked my car and I reached Reichenau. It seems to be a nice place for cycling. Reichenau means blessed land. This monastic island is an UNESCO heritage site due to the perfectly preserved churches of St. Mary and Marcus, St. Peter and St. Paul and St. George, mainly built between the 9th and 11th centuries. They provide a panorama of early medieval monastic architecture in Central Europe. If you are in Constance, you can think about coming in rush now a couple of hours to visit the St. Peter and Paul church and enjoy the lake. Otherwise, I would say that you can definitely skip this destination. I was not really impressed. A tomato bag for 2 euro. I will take it. All restaurants are closed. I will eat tomatoes for dinner. I am back in my car, driving to the last destination of this episode, the Burg Hohenzollern where is located one of the most beautiful castles in all Germany. I have to say that uh, when restaurants are closed, the typical one, I mean, a place loses 60-70% of its beauty, especially here in Germany where the food and the beer is so good. That's impressive, I can already see the Burgo and Solen from miles away. 
The Burgo and Solern is located on the mountain of and Soler, at 855 meters above the sea level, offering a spectacular view. It was built back in Frederick William Fort of Prussia and completed in 1867. Its construction required 17 years. It can be considered as the real representation of medieval architecture. It's enormous and so impressive. Today the castle is privately owned by two lines of the Hohenzollern family and is one of the most visited in Germany. Once that you park your car, you have to go up, walking. There is a lot of parking space available around the castle area. When you look at this castle from below, wow, it's so impressive. I would say that it's something definitely to see, a must. Unfortunately, there are construction works. I cannot enter inside. In Germany, there are a lot of beautiful things to see, and Burgo Enzolern is definitely a must. Guys, this episode is over. I hope that you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye.